Welcome everyone to a casted game for Zero Space. And today spawning in the southeast corner of the map, we've got Cho playing as the Protector of Faction, and he spawned in light green. Spawning in the northwest, his enemy. Today will be JJJ JJJ. Playing in brown as the Growl. Welcome everyone to Mountain Peak. That's the map for today with the three control towers in the middle of the map. Oh, early seedling coming out there for JJJ. Maybe just, just scout out what's going on. The early barracks coming out for the Protector of Faction. And so does the Dread Hero. Interesting choice. I do love the Dread Hero. A nice hero unit for the Protector. Has three abilities. Has Disrupting Shot, which does a blast damage of 50. Slows enemies and also prevents them from using weapons and abilities for five seconds. Also has access to Shadow Walk, which gives the unit a cloak and an additional 50% movement speed, as we see just there. Also has a 50% dodge chance for four seconds. Also, finally, does have access to the Sticky Bomb. Oh, that's a bit of a sticky situation. Those little critters focusing on the barracks and... That's such a kind of interesting because the healing up comes out. Oh, look at the Grail Hero. Uses the Deadly Vines on the building. I'm not sure how much... Yeah, I mean, it does the damage. It's not going to exactly slow it down, right? It's not moving anywhere. Commander pops out of the first one. And while well, the Dread Hero going to look to try and push Bob away, the Grail Hero. Seedling comes out. Maybe looking to consume that. Will he consume it? Will he do it? Will he do it? He does. And takes out the Commander. Dread Hero is going to be uh, focusing on the Grail Hero quite nicely, though. I've got to say, Grail Hero is under a little bit of pressure. Does get the Sticky Bomb. Will he look to try and do a Deep Barrow to get out of there? You have to do something. He's going to be stunned for a few seconds. Does Deep Barrow out of there. A nice, uh, nice strategy, I've got to say, to get hold of the, the critters in the middle there by uh, Cho. Getting the barracks there. Making the barracks tank for those critters. It's the first time I've seen it. I quite enjoyed that. Seedling, though. I love the usage of the infused seedling for the Grail. Just to get that scouting information. Does go for a second base expansion. And so does the Protectorate. With the operating tower moving north well, where is this engineer going off to uh going with the protector uh dread hero anyway does back away for now maybe there's a misclick who knows commander heading in that position as well and with one control tower there for cho we'll be gathering that valuable xp looking to get the hex site now as we speak as well the grow hero working on the uh, little spiderlings on the west control tower Second base expansion now is up and running though for the Protectorate. Going for an early factory. So one barracks into a factory play to get an Avenger on the field. That's kind of a nice play. I've not seen it all that often. I'd love to see how this one turns out. We're moving northwards now. Now behind this, what are the Grell up to? One incubator. So far at least. Moving eastwards. Looking to control that control tower. Gets the second one in his grasp and... Looking to get the rich flux as well, which is quite nice because, of course, you want that as early as possible. JJJJJ and the girl not yet on flux at all. The central tower has been controlled by a couple of stingers, just two, and that's good use of these units, right? To get just two stingers to control a tower is huge value. They will be surrounded by the commandos. They will lose their lives pretty quickly. A third base expansion coming up for the Grail. A little bit greedy, but we shall see if the Protector are able to make them pay for that. It does have an Avenger, so it suggests that actually it's going to be early aggressive play. Well, oh, it's an advanced factory as well. This is an interesting play. One of each. Not seeing this at all, actually. Now, I guess it's coming from the fact that the Grail are being greedy rather than them being too aggressive themselves. The Grail kind of allowing this to happen. Now, of course, the Grail looking to try and boom away and get that economy rolling. And if the Protector don't do significant damage... Maybe the next 10-15 minutes, the economy should come out on top for JJJ. As long as he plays his cards right. Looking to get the control tower on the east side. First talent is already in for JJJ, giving the extra 10% movement speed for the Grail units. Capturing the middle. West one still up for grabs. Double incubator. I think that's the third incubator, actually. Yeah, it will be the third incubator. So looking to get a couple more of those uh, cheeky, cheeky stingers out on the map. Two crabs as well. Fourth incubator coming out. So playing three bases into a heavy stinger play, it seems. That could become a problem when he comes up against Avengers and also Atlas. Is that an Atlas? I think it's an Atlas. What's the queued up? Oh, it's not. It's a Juggernaut. Can you see the Juggernaut? Something that excites me about that is that the Avengers have a great voice line. The Scottish accent is uh, something to experience, that's for sure. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. 
Decent number of commandos, and Avenger, the first one pops out. Sir. Just point me at him. Anyway, a couple of those are uh, enough messing around those Grell units. Trying to get a surround on the east side, but the commander's going to cut off the retreat. And while a couple of those units were disrupted, uses a sticky bomb to try and get as much value as possible. Of course, the sticky bomb just doesn't land. Juggernaut heading Death across. Beckons. There you go. Death beckons for the Grell if they're not careful. Juggernaut here. Moving northeast and going to try and get rid of those uh, stingers. Might just stick to ignore them, though. Got to be careful, though. They might ride, ride in. He won't, won't want to leave them unaccounted for, that's for sure. Or oh, taking the game. The Juggernaut getting surrounded. The crabs have been infused. The Grell hero might take out the Juggernaut. Does go down there. That's a big pick off there by the Grell. I've got to say, Juggernaut, one of the premium units, goes down pretty quickly. All oh, the surround coming in from the north with the commando. Snipes out one crab. Another one goes flying away. Did he? Wait. Holy moly, that was a big flying crab. <laughs> that's kind of funny to see. You gotta love it. Now, just to let you guys know, this game obviously is an alpha, so if you're watching this later, then um, the game is looking in a really nice spot, I've got to say. It's fluid. But do you get some of those perks like that? It's a tower on the operating tower. Or turret, rather, on the operating tower. Looking just to protect it. Another juggernaut on the field. and Well, I'd love to see the protector actually send a couple of units to this control tower. At least one or two. Second talent comes in for the grill. Improved infusion. Vehicle durability coming up for Sho and the Protector. It makes a lot of sense, of course, with the Juggernauts and the Avengers on the field. Take a look at the Stingers. The Stingers aren't getting close at all to the cat to the uh, the tanks. I've got to say, I think he does. He have poison? Yeah, he does have poison in the end. The the attack steal five DPS and slows the units by twenty percent. Nice little bit of upgrade for the Stingers. No particular upgrades coming in for the Commanders just yet. Two infused crabs. They're good to snap out the harvester. Leaves it for now. The Grell Hero does use these deadly vines. Does snare a lot of those commanders. They're taking the fight anyway. The crabs, they're looking strong, but they, they, they're getting absolutely decimated by the, the juggernaut, I've got to say. Get a good value of this unit. Pushing heavily now. And this is an issue for the Grell. They were a little bit greedy with the third base expansion. Being made to pay for it. If it takes out the crabs, that's going to be the big defense going down. The Grell uses the deadly vines, but he just to... Reduce the uh, retreat speed, and the Juggernaut gets taken apart, and well, getting us around a little bit around the hero. Dread Hero's got to be careful not to get exposed and taken out. Oh, he almost goes down. The Avengers, though, blocking him out from the enemy. Retreating back for now. Crab's still tanking so much. Again, Deadly Vines gets deployed. We'll lose one more Avenger. But one more Juggernaut pops out. Avenger is receiving. Gets another Juggernaut. Ready. Has a reinforcement. As a top bar ability there. The Protector. And maybe another one. Yep, it is indeed another one. So now three Juggernauts on the field. Very tank heavy army composition here for the Protector. Only two of those commandos. Third talent coming in. I think you had that earlier. But to be fair, infused lifesteal. Two Harbingers have been infused. Sticky Bomb gets deployed. Harbingers backing away for now. Oh, the tank's doing so much damage. Comes in with Deadly Vines. They're going to cut off the retreat, but... Takes out the commandos, but these are heavy hitting units now for the Protectorate. He's going right into the heart of the base. He's cutting off any sort of mode of retreat. Crabs are firing off, and well, this is looking a bit tricky. The Harbingers, they do do they do have um, the shredding eruption. So it's gotta be careful not to lose these tanks. It does lose one juggernaut. About to lose a second, possibly. We'll have to see. Well, there aren't that many harbingers left, just two. They get taken down, and well, the Grail Hero. Now having to retreat. This is a good position for the Protector. I've got to say, JJJ, under all sorts of pressure. A couple of Harbingers coming in from the north, but they are not infused. They are the regular ones. Ready to rumble. You heard it from him, not me. Protector ready to rumble. Heading back for now and getting the third base expansion, but the fourth base expansion coming out for the Grell. That's interesting. Now, if the Grell aren't killed off anytime soon, then, well, that economy is still strong for them. He's starting to produce a lot of units once again. Cho, floating a bit of Hexite, floating a bit of Flux. Might look to get another production building down soon. And there it is. As we said, right on cue, Advanced Factory coming out for Cho. Good timing with that third base expansion. The Grell, what are they up to? Do they have a medium incubator just yet? 
He does have one. Quite a few regular incubators, so looking to really get the stingers out on the field, that's for sure. Infusing a couple of them, I think. Uh, infusing the harbingers, rather. Now bear in mind, with the improved infusion, they will get the additional 300 range. Moving out now into the middle. Oh, a couple of the units there, a couple of the stingers looking to get a bit of a, a kickoff, but it will be calling them back home. A few of them, at least. Four of them. Saves four of them. Nicely done. Oh, coming on the front lines. He did distract the, the protector a little bit. That was a nice play. A bit of a distraction technique. Used four stingers just to pull the protector army away. But they're heading back in that choke point once again. And he keeps the production abilities alive. The juggernauts, they are pushing that back very nicely. Heavy units. Heavy hitters. This is uh, looking a bit of a scary number of units, though, for the the Growl. Has Essence Collector now as well as the Talent. Moving out to the north, sending a commando. I like this move and this approach. He needs to deny those towers as much as possible. Annihilation ready. He's about to engage. Well, he's going to take out the Harbinger on the front line. Even if it's infused, it doesn't matter. This number of tanks will take it down, but the ability is coming out thick and fast for the Harbingers on the back line. A couple of tanks will go down on the front. He loses one Juggernaut, about to lose a second. Will he lose a third? The Grell here using the Deadly Vines. Cuts off the retreat, takes out the third Juggernaut there. The Protector having to go back home, lick their own wounds, and well, another Juggernaut coming out. Oh, this is looking a bit tricky. Yeah. That Juggernaut. Still holding on the front lines. Ready to rumble. Veteran reinforcements coming in as a talent. So reinforcement units will start at rank one veterans here. So we're gonna see them come through now. Wait, what did he just get commanded? Uh, I don't think so. that was a commando. There it is. Death it's another beckons. juggernaut. Another two juggernauts, in fact. Let's talk, about, let's talk about Flux. Both Flux positions aren't being captured by either player just yet. He set up shop in the middle turret. That's a lot of Harbingers, I've got to say. Dead Divine comes out once again for the Grell hero coming in from the back. This is huge. A nice flank there by the Grell. This is going to cut off any sort of retreat for the Protector. He's going to lose everything. Down to 78 supply. And well, those Juggernauts got caught in positions and they couldn't get out. Well, actually, no, to be fair, he recalled a couple of them. And he lost quite a few of them in the end. Dead hero backing away for now. Let's get hit by the Dead Divines and will the Grells start to double down and push forward? Will they try and snipe out the Dread Hero? Juggernauts fighting behind the production buildings on top of that ramp and while the Grell finding it difficult to push this position. Reinforcements come in with another Juggernaut infused coming in. Those Harbingers, they're going to hatch pretty soon. Well, they wait, it's taking a while. They come out, but they, mon yeah, they get sniped. One of them might get sniped at least. Manages to get out of there just about onto the biomass and heal up. That was close for that one. Now it's got a fourth base expansion now, the Protectorate, and supply depots as well. So we'd love to see a couple of turrets just to protect that area, because it's relatively exposed. Something that the uh, Grell might look to take advantage of with a couple of stingers, but if he knows about it, that is. All three towers, though, in control of the Grell once more, and now has access to Tree of Life. And that'll be a problem for the Protectorate if it gets deployed in a, in a strong position. Now gets another advanced factory, really going for the heavy hitters. The Grell, on the other hand, do we see any large incubators just yet? Are we expecting any behemoth? Because ultimately there's quite a few units that, well, can't shoot up into the air for the protector. So maybe a behemoth or two could be a nice addition for the Grell. Will he get there though? He's got a strong economy, but really trying to pop out the units as possible. As many as possible. Starting to move out a little bit there, the Protector. Tentatively on the west side. Going towards the central control tower. Nothing there just yet for the Grell. They're heading that position now, getting ready to fight. Maybe looking to get another surround. Coming in from the northeast, a couple of harbingers coming from the west. And it feels like it's a, a deja vu coming out once again and uses the abilities, those harbingers. And again, uh, this time though, it's a bit of a different story. There's a decent number of jag uh, juggernauts. I think this could be overwhelming by the Protector. Not enough harbingers, I don't think. They're getting snapped pretty heavily. Juggernauts are moving further forward, and Avenger there too, and this is looking dicey now for JJJ and the Grell. A lot of Stingers, but the Stingers are barely going to do any damage to the Juggernauts. Loses the Grell hero. Harbingers get absolutely, absolutely slain. There's the Tree of Life, though. 
So a couple of reinforcing units coming in from the southeast, but mostly stingers. That's not going to help the juggernauts. Three of them still holding firm. Going to get recalled. They're going to reset and recuperate and recover. They might even look to snipe out the Tree of Life, putting in an awkward position. Harbinger, though, in that position. Oh, there we are. There we go. We see the Strider on the field. And we might see some infantry going to be garrisoning inside them. We'll have to see. That's a nice unit to see for sure for the Protector. Heading almost into the 16th minute of the game. Loses one Harbinger. Just about to lose a second as well. He's not careful. That's back away for now. Second Juggernaut on the field. Oh, will we see those stingers diving in? No. Nope. Doesn't quite manage to get out of that. Heat discharge radius. That increases by 30%. And that causes a lot of problems for any units that want to get close to the Juggernaut. Oh, no. Is that the large incubator? I think that might have been the large incubator. Wait, was that the Tree of Life? The large incubator. I missed that for a second. Either way, if it was large in incubator, it was a problem to be loose lost there in that position. Quite a few nourishing pods. The Juggernaut's really flaming it up on the biomass. This is looking a strong push. Show up to 107 supply. Taking really good fights at the stage. And while the Growl up, they're struggling. They can't get close to the Juggernauts. The flames are coming out. And while this is a difficult push to stop, i got to say, he's producing stingers, but that won't be the response. Not to this number of Juggernauts. Especially with the Strider attacking on the front field. And down to 28 supply. JJJ is under pressure. The Northern uh, base is being pressurized quite heavily. And that will go down before too long. And... Looks like he's going to double down there, the Protector. Take that out first. and This is looking tricky, to say the least. Strider does go down in the end. and the Juggernauts, though, they take out that expansion. They're backing way up to the top of the ramp for now, making it even more difficult the, the, for the Grell to get on top of that. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, JJJJJ. He knows he's behind. Took some bad fights. Airstrikes even come in just to finish the game. But I hope you guys enjoy that casted game. Take care, and see you next time.